Okay, we're going to show you quickly how to um, tram and level the bed on the Hydro 21. It's a little different than our previous machine, so if you're used to those, it's a little different procedure. Um, as you can see, the main, well, first thing you want to do is remove the side, which slides out of the extrusion. And your main adjustment is going to be the ball screws on the front left and right and they are held in this clamp mechanism with four screws. You need to loosen at least three of these screws and that's gonna allow you to manually turn this. So what I would do is using a ball end three millimeter driver and now you've got, you can, you can manually turn this. And I like to keep it just a little snug so you've got some resistance because you don't want it to accidentally lose its position. There you go. All right, so. Before we start moving things, what we're gonna do is uh, turn off the machine. And this is to help prevent the um, damage to the motors from uh, the back EMF of moving the machine manually. You're going to remove the motor cable from the motor control circuit board. So now if this motor spins by itself, it's not gonna damage the circuit board. There's another motor in the back and to get to that one, just uh, there are two screws covering the back plate and you just want to pull this back plate off oops don't want to drop it and again carefully grasp the connector and remove the wires all right so what i like to do now is turn the machine back on so now the z-axis is enabled so gravity is not going to change your z while you're working so now but now you can freely move your x and y so what I like to do first is if you notice the, the rails have a pivot in the front and a pivot in the back. And this pivot roughly lines up with the ball screws. So we're going to make it level across this line. And there's gonna be a few iterations, a little trial and error to go around to get it just right. So um, what I'm gonna do now is just to give me a little reference, I'm going to, um, oh, gotta release my emergency stop. I'm gonna try to get my gauge to zero and this is going to be adjusted several times so you don't need to be, per be perfect but you just want to get an idea of how far off you are so you can see i need to come come up on this side a little bit so if i come over here twist this one until that's at zero we're going to come back over here that's really close so we're just at so all right, so that's really good. That's less than a thousandths off. That's that's really good for the first first run on the front. Um, next, we're going to go to the back, and depending on the the hot bed that you have, some of them are larger than this one. You want to go back as far as you can because you can see where the pivot point is. Um, the first few we shipped without this, but we've since added a leveling jack on the back, which is going to help you level this side. If you don't have this installed in your machine, you can still do it. You just have to manually support this if you change the level. So, so now that that's there, we're gonna check the level on the back. So we'll just do the same thing. Let's just get, get back up to close to zero. I'm gonna slowly push it over. Okay, this one's actually looking pretty good. So, so you can see right here. So that side needs to go down. All right, so we need to bring this back side up a little bit. So what I'm going to do is just loosen the little lock screw there. I'm going to loosen the, the screw here that ties it in, and I'm going to turn this adjustment screw. And we're going to do this until these are even. So right there, we're about zero here. Come back to this side, and now we're zero here, and then we're going to double check. Okay, so that looks, and again, if you're within two or three thousandths or, you know, 50 microns, you're probably going to be fine, depending on how you're measuring it, because that's far less than average layer height. All right, so, so this bed looks pretty level. I'm going to lock it back down. I'm going to lock that screw and then lock this screw in the back. Just holding the, the rail support in place. Now, if you do this and you find a big discrepancy between the front and the back, so you may be level here and level here, but the, the levels are different, 
Then all you have to do is adjust the, the right and the left an even amount down or up so that you're leveling it this way. Because the important thing is that you're parallel. So if you have a parallel measurement in the front, parallel measurement in the back, then you just do the, the same adjustment on the two front ball screws and you'll be fine. Otherwise, if, if you're pretty close the way I was just there, then you should only have to adjust this, um, you know, a little bit on one of the ball screws in the front and one of the back corners. Now, when you're done, obviously you can go back, turn the machine off, carefully plug your motors back in after the machine turns off. And of course, you know, your side cover is just gonna slide back into your extrusion. And now you're, once you do that, you're ready to uh, turn the machine back on and get printing again. One thing I forgot to tell you is obviously before you put the side cover back on, make sure you go back in and tighten your ball screw clamps. And now you should tighten both sides because obviously you've got the, the same thing on the other side over there. And that'll make sure that whatever you adjust here is gonna stay.